here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily, we acknowledge our sins. I'm sorry for them, and we ask for God's forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray. O God, you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. All the citizens of Shechem and all Beth Milo came together and proceeded to make Abimelech king by the Terebinth at the memorial pillar in Shechem. When this was reported to him, Jotham went to the top of Mount Gerizim and standing there, cried out to them in a loud voice, Hear me, citizens of Shechem, that God may then hear you. Once the trees went to anoint a king over themselves, so they said to the olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree answered them, Must I give up my rich oil? whereby men and gods are honored and go to wave over the trees. Then the trees said to the fig tree, Come, you reign over us. But the fig tree answered them, Must I give up my sweetness and my good fruit and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the vine, Come you and reign over us. But the vine answered them, Must I give up my wine that cheers gods and men and go to wave over the trees? Then all the trees said to the buckthorn, Come, you reign over us. But the buckthorn replied to the trees, If you wish to anoint me king over you in good faith, come and take refuge in my shadow. Otherwise, let fire come from the buckthorn and devour the cedars of Lebanon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. O Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. In your victory, how greatly he rejoices. For you have granted him his heart's desire. You refused not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you. You gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. You made him a blessing forever. 
you gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going about five o'clock, he found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? And they answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the land the landowner, saying, This last one's work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden with the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? For I am not free, am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first. And the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ. Remember Carlo Paalam, who won the uh, silver uh, medal in the uh, Tokyo Olympics boxing tournament. Uh, for him to, to win the gold medal, uh, silver medal is enough for him. That would be more than enough for him, more than enough because the materials the materials that made the silver medal is from the uh, broken and destroyed cell phones actually but they are the best of the materials from those cell phones gathered by the host country and carlo paalam said because this these materials of this silver medal it represents me because I too, I was a broken person. Broken because he came from a very poor family. At an early age, he has to go pangangalakal ng basura just to bring food to their table. And when he won that silver medal in Tokyo Olympics, he said, I can bring lots of food lots of food in our own home i say this my dear friends because in today's gospel reading it talks about two issues two issues the generosity but also the entitlement 
the gospel reading tells us that we cannot put limits on God's generosity. God is so generous. That's why we have a saying, you cannot beat God in generosity. No one can outdo God in generosity. We, no one can put limits to God's generosity. That's the first point. You yourself, you, deserve, you receive more than what you deserve. Just look at yourself. Even from the spiritual point of view, you receive more than what you deserve. And what is that? The death of the Son of God. Why oh my God? No one deserves that. For Jesus to die on the cross for you? Who are we? That's how generous God is. We receive more than what we deserve. And so supposedly, the outcome, because we receive more than what we deserve, we must learn to be generous. And the generosity that God is asking us is not to be charitable, more than to be charitable. We have to be just. We have to create a society that is just create a society that is just and not to be feeling entitled. That's the problem. When we receive a little bit more, we feel entitled that we deserve it and we become greedy, avaricious. Supposedly, we must learn to be generous but because of entitlement, it is a creeping temptation. It's insidious. Be careful. When you receive what you didn't ask, be careful. It could be a creeping temptation, insidious, to be greedy. Feeling, feeling entitled. I deserve this. I want more. And not only that we hope, but we demand. So the gospel really reminds us, be careful, because many times we fall the trap of this creeping temptation of entitlement. And instead of bringing justice, we bring misery to others. We make others more miserable. So the invitation for us is this, we have to be thankful to God because we receive more than enough. I tell you that, you receive more than enough that you deserve. And be careful, little by little, to learn, to be aware that there is the thing called entitlement. That's why Jesus Christ, the last part, he said, the first will be last. Those who think that they deserve, you'll be last. And those, they simply do what they have to do. They simply give what they have to give. And they don't, don't demand anything from God, will be the first. Those who think that they deserve more, than what others to deserve, they'll be last. So be careful with entitlement. It's a creeping temptation and it brings misery to many. We have more than enough actually. We have more than enough. But because of entitlement, we bring misery to other people. Carlo Paalam Heidelin Diaz, these are two Olympians in Tokyo Olympics that brought silver medal and gold medal. But I would like to add another one. She didn't join the Tokyo Olympics, but she, she was the valedictorian in the Ateneo graduates. She was a cum laude, and her name is Haya Bendanya. 
something that is very important for us. Haya Bindanya said, I am, because she came from a very poor family too. She said that because of the generosity of Ateneo, she is now what she is. But she said something very important, something that would wake us up. She said, the success of people should not, should not be dependent on the generosity of others. And that's true. The success of others should not be dependent on the generosity and charity of others, but on a just society. And that is something that we have to work on. In other words, opportunities should be given to all. If Carlo Paalam, Heidelin Diaz, and also this Haya Bendanya, they were able to achieve success in life. It's because of luck, the luck, suerte, because of the few who were able to help them. But she said, no, this, matters, this should not happen. The success of everyone should be dependent on a just society. And she said, as long as there is there is social discrimination, economic inequality, and the control of political power lies only on the hands of the few, many would continue to struggle. Many would continue to struggle. We receive more than what we deserve. God is inviting us to create a just society where everyone would have opportunities. They will also have opportunities, especially the least, the last, and the lost. That's our way of thanking God. And rather than to be entitled that we have to have more and more and more, creating a just society. But many times, we are so contented with what's happening now. In just in today's first reading, one lesson that we can learn is this. We are contented with lesser evil. Well, it's okay. It's lesser evil. But God demands the more than the minimum. God demands the maximum in each one of us. He demands the maximum in each one of us to bring out the best to bring out the best. You know, Haya Bindanya, she said in her valedictory speech, she said, every year, the seniors of Ateneo, they're being told, go down from the hill during their graduation celebration. Go down from the hill. That's always the invitation of that for the seniors of Ateneo. Go down from the hill. But Haya Bindanya, she said, I think for now, I think this time, we should not ask, go down from, we should not tell them, go down from the hill, but rather we ask, why is there a hill at all? Why is there a hill? There should not be a hill that would separate us from the others. The invitation we have to be grateful and our act of gratitude is more than to be generous and to be merciful. But let us create a society that is just, where all have opportunities for their own as God wants them to have. The Lord invites everyone to work in His vineyard at any time or condition of their life. And He is always generous with the wages He gives us. May we rejoice the abundance of His generosity. Lord, teach us to be thankful. Lord, teach us to be thankful.
Meet the church ordained ministers, work in the vineyard, bearing the burden and the heat, content with the crown of righteousness that the Lord will award them in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, to be, be thankful. thankful. May we realize that it is never too late for anyone to turn to the Lord and heed his invitation to work in his vineyard and receive a generous wage, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to, be to be thankful. May we appreciate and be content with what we have and stop being jealous with others on account of the things we do not have, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us to be thankful. May our idea of strict justice and equality for all be sur surpassed by compassion and mercy for those who need more help from the church, the government, and civic organizations, we pray. Lord, teach us to be thankful. May the faithful ones at the end of their labors on earth enjoy the reward of eternal life, we pray. Lord, teach us to be thankful. Father, everything is yours, and you give according to your gracious will. May we thank you for your gift to us and to our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in most need of it. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Foot of the earth, work of your and hands, it will become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, the Virgin Blessed Rose, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ. For the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patricia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Rose of Lima, Saint Sebastian, Saint Sally and Louis Martin, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, be, hallowed thy be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, will thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For shadow the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, the of, the sins world, of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, of God you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, of the world. Grant, grant us peace. peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter should under, under, my under my roof. I only the say, the word, say the word, my soul, shall, my be soul healed. shall be Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Body of Christ. Amen. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.